All right, so this is pretty cheesy, but I think I may have made the world's first stereoscopic zoetrope. Uh, if you don't know what a zoetrope is, it's basically this, one of the original methods of viewing moving pictures, one of the first ones, there's basically this drum that rotates, there's slits spaced all around it, and then you look through the slits as it spins, and they act as kind of a shutter that shows you the, the frames on the other side, the inside of the drum. Um, there's plenty of YouTube videos about them that do a better job of explaining it than me. Anyway, uh, so I think I've made the first stereoscopic one. Uh, in order to be stereoscopic, you need to be able to show half the frames to one eye and half the frames to the other eye. Uh, and so, as you can see, instead of rotating like a traditional zoetrope horizontally like this, about a vertical axis, I've switched it to a horizontal axis. And as you can see, I've got slits on the left and slits on the right. So when you, when you look through it, um, basically your left eye sees through the, the slits on the left, the right eye sees through the slits on the right. And the images on the inside are designed with uh, what's called disparity. So uh, in, in this particular animation, the left eye always sees this ball, it's kind of gray in there, always sees the ball in the same place, but the right eye, uh, that ball moves left and right in the animation, and so what happens is your brain puts that together and you see it as a ball kind of going in and out closer and further away from you. Uh, I'm, there's a lot of ways that this could be improved, I'm sure. This is the first zoetrope of any kind I've ever made, so... Um, I kind of, after the fact, cut these cheesy holes in the side to see if getting a little more light in would help. Eh, I'm not sure it did in this case, but... Uh, I'm sure that if I had used, like, maybe black construction paper on the outside to give me some... Uh, give me a lot better... Um, contrast is the word. <laughs> Uh, I, that probably would have helped. Um, I was thinking about, you know, ha having this spun on a string, but the bamboo skewer seems to work pretty well. Um, well, anyway, so, like I said, I believe this is the first stereoscopic zoetrope. Uh, if anybody wants to try and make a better one, go for it. It, it shouldn't take much. I've proven that it works. Um... Anyway, see you later.